Tlatseo in Mexico's Michoacan state, more commonly referred to these days as the Quitseo Desert. A series of factors over recent decades, among them climate change, has left large parts of this once major water body dry. This was Mexico's second largest lake. Six municipalities around this region used to depend directly on Lake Quitseo for their water supply. But with more than 70% of its 452 square kilometer surface now reduced to a dust bed where I'm currently standing, local residents say the situation is dire. Juan Pintor has seen the lake transform since he was a child. When I was a boy, all of this was full. These walls were the sides of a channel that ran into the lake where we could fish. But for the last 10 years, it has been dry. Today, with the water gone, dust storms can whip up from the dry lake bed, causing multiple problems for everyone living in the vicinity. The dust storms are so bad that you can't see anything. It's like a thick fog and it makes people sick. Eye infections, lung infections, rashes on our skin, all because the water doesn't reach the lake anymore. Rafael Trueba of the Michoacan State University has studied the lake's transformation in depth. 70% of the lake has dried up. There are a number of reasons. Untreated sewage and agricultural waste damaging the ecosystem. Deforestation in the surrounding area that has reduced water retention. And climate change which has significantly reduced the region's rainfall volumes. Without intervention, Trueba says Lake Quitseo's communities could face the very real possibility of having to leave the region. Lake Quitseo can recover. It's easy to lose hope when we see scenes like this, but with better management of our regional water supplies, the lake can return to how it was. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Quitseo, Mexico.